Good morning all. Happy third Sunday of Easter. As you can tell, I'm in in the front. So let's uh let's start with our prayer for the new church. So in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Spirit of the living God, breath of life and fire of love, be our help and our guide as we seek to know the Father's will. Give us wisdom and right judgment as stewards of your creation. Inspire our hearts and strengthen our will to raise up for your glory a holy place where the splendor of your presence may heal, purify, restore, and give new life to the church gathered in your name. With the faith planted in our hearts and by the hope given to us by Christ our Lord, the living stones of our lives will raise up with your help a place of awesome beauty, where the broken may be healed and find peace, strangers be welcomed with joy, the thirsty refreshed at the well of your grace, and the hungry be fed on the bread of life. Come, Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, so we'll start this little tour today. Um, made a trip up the turnpike to F.C. Ziegler. They are the ones that are um, rebuilding the altar from the cathedral, rebuilding the ambo, uh, the altar of repose and got to see all of those things so uh, pretty exciting stuff and as you may have seen earlier I posted pictures of the stations restored so um, and hopefully I gotta I gotta figure out how this internet thing's gonna work here because if I walk around to the back of the building well we'll just we'll just hope it uh, hope it uh, I may my our internet connection may go in and out so we'll we're gonna have to see anyway we see here we're at the front of the church with the exception of sod the front much landscaped we've got these uh, red bud trees um, that have been planted in some shrubs and those tall ever whatever those are called and so um, just waiting on just waiting on sod I think last week I might have said I don't know what those tubes turns out they were lights and so if you drive by here late at night that are you know, these wonderful light poles that uh, are here and then you see these lights that are shining up at the building so drive by at night sometime you'll see the front of the church uh, illuminated so um, I think I'm going to walk this way. I think the internet will be better this way. Everybody wave at Father Jacoby. <laughs> okay. Let's walk around this way. Oh, you'll notice there used to be a gap in the sidewalk. They got all the they got all the concrete poured. And you'll notice over here uh, we got sidewalk there. So Father, he doesn't get his exercise that way anymore. So but uh, I try to. I know enough to know that my mother is is watching so uh i have to be really nice um yeah they got this porch over here so no longer do you have to walk through any dirt to get inside the building
There we see a, uh, a little plaque in the concrete. Timberlake takes great pride in their work and they wanted to put a little plate uh, to uh, show that they were the ones that uh, built it, were the contractors for this building. Do not open, nor abrir. So walking here, we're on the northwest side of the church. And so, uh, some nice oak trees planted there. So I think at this point, all of the outside concrete is in place. Here we have a, a ramp for the um, handicap spaces. We have to go in the back. So that's why we're taking this walk around here. I wanted to start with the plaza because Here we are coming into the uh, coming in the back entrance here. Okay. We're gonna something I wanted to show you. I think I did not show you this. All these lights come on as I walk. <clears throat> it's great. There's no light switches. Yeah, you, uh, you just walk into an area and the lights uh, open up. Oh, and by the way, with it being Sunday, the advantages of doing this on Sunday is the workers aren't here, so it's much, much quieter. So I wanted to show you the sink. Um, this is a kind of a um, one of those teaching moments. You see on the left side, this is called a sacrarium. It's got a lid with the cross. And this is a sink in which the drain here goes actually to the ground. Uh, after mass, we come back here and uh, the deacon will uh, purify the cups. And uh, if any, uh, any water from the cups any remnants of the blood of Christ, we don't want going into the sewer. It actually goes to the ground. So this is very common in Catholic churches. And so, um, uh, interestingly enough, I had ordered a sacrarium from Ziegler's up in Tulsa, who's doing much of the work for our new church. And turns out the plumber had a sacrarium in their contract. So I didn't even know plumbers knew what a sacrarium was. So Anyway, so this drain, this drain just goes to the regular disposal, but this one, this one goes to the ground. So that's why we have a lid on to, um, we don't want, we, we want a, a minimum of things going into the ground. So, uh, so again, it's very dusty. So, uh, um, been putting in a lot of cabinetry. There's really nothing new here, um. There's just, this is the working sacristy. This is back behind the altar. Um, you know, some storage rooms back here. There's a restroom, restroom down there. One of those doors we pass by. Um, so we'll, we'll go out into the church, look and see what they've done in, in terms of the uh, marble behind the altar. Again, another storage room. Uh, so... It's really hard to, the floors have been, uh, the floors are stained and have, are, are polished and stained, but it's really difficult to see um, because of the fact that they're so dusty. 
a lot of dust going on in here. Um, so there they have marble all the way up the niches. And they're getting marble up, up, those, uh, up the sides there. I thought, they were, I, I thought that this tile work was going to be happening uh, behind the tabernacle, but um, we have the tile on site, but it has not been, um, they've not started that yet. And they've not started the, the floor of the, they'll get all this stuff up on the walls before they start working on the floor of the, uh, of the altar area, the sanctuary. This is where, uh, this will all have marble. A darker marble up, um, darker marble up on the, uh, on the predella, and then a lighter marble below the predella. So... So again, nice rail up. Doesn't show up so well on the video. It shows up much better in the in the um, shows up much better uh, live. So I'm told we're going to walk up to the uh, balcony. Uh, I'm told there's not as much dust up there, so we'll be able to see the the floor a little better. So again, our crucifix. And as I've said before on video, it just doesn't do it justice. Uh, Mary Jane, uh, will there be any air areas to hang items in the sacristy, such as large altar cloths? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we didn't put any cabinetry back there for that. Uh, all the stuff that hangs normally is in, uh, is in this uh, vesting sacristy. Uh, this week, so in one of these, you might recall in the, in the two niches back here, we have a place for Our Lady of Guadalupe and a place for Blessed Stanley. Um, the Our Lady of Guadalupe was ordered this week. It's uh, 37 inches wide, 47 inches tall. So that'll go in one of these niches. And then <clears throat> a similar size of an image of Blessed Stanley Rother will also uh, will also be um, also be ordered this coming week. Um, you can see the uh, I guess they had the wood around the windows last week. So looks like they're getting wood down on the um, base. There's supposed to be a chair rail in a different color toward the bottom. So I'm waiting for that to show up. They, they haven't completed all the painting in here yet. So uh, again, I showed you lights for the Stations of the Cross. The Stations of the Cross are, the pictures that you saw, um, they're, not, they're not large because they, they came from Immaculate Conception. So what, what they're doing is they're building a frame that will house the house the stations that we have to s sort of give them some uh, some um, give them some size. So there there'll be a piece of marble hanging beh uh, behind the the stations. So okay, let's see. They were working on lighting here for the. Uh, the baptistry, so again, some of that indirect lighting. I know they were working on that lighting this week, and uh, there's also some uh, recessed uh, lighting there that you can see. So, okay, let's take a look. Oh, and here's the other thing. They this is one thing they did this week. They got. They got wood around these windows, so these windows are really, really nice. Very, very nice. So looking outside, looking over at the rectory.
I really like the lighting that they've put along the stairwell here. Okay. It says I'm not supposed to go. I'm gonna go under it. It's dry up here. Yeah, you can see the color much better up here. Uh, there's a lot less dust. So the, the floor up in the mezzanine where the choir is, is uh, it, this, it's really beautiful. They've, uh, they've done a very nice job of polishing and staining this concrete. So downstairs it looks gray, but I can assure you I saw it before it got dust on it. It's this color. So there's just a lot of, a lot of dust around. You can actually see the dust from footprints up here. So So we should see some, uh, by next week, we should see some tile in that area there. So that, and it's a different color than the, than the, the light that you see here, the, the light marble. So. I just love the light in this place. Father and I get trained on the lights on Tuesday. Those poor electricians have no idea what they're going to be dealing with there, with trying to train Father and I on lights. Got the handrails all installed for the lights. There will be a decorative grill that goes over these uh, return air openings. There's four of those major openings like that at each corner of the, of the church. Apparently there's still a lot of wood to install. <laughs> because there's a lot of wood still left. Uh, they did put cabinetry in the vesting sacristy. So we'll go take a look at it. Uh, Tammy, hopefully we one of these days when we get some... Um, get the building paid for and get some donations we'll be putting some stained glass in um, okay still haven't put there's cabinetry in the usher sacristy but they haven't really installed it um, well that's an interesting piece what is this I have no idea what that is. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that. There's two of them. Hmm. Okay, here we are. Yeah, they've, um, here we are in the vesting sacristy. So we, uh, these are nice deep cabinets to put. Uh, our vestments in. We've got plenty of room for vestments over here. These cabinets are uh, a little bit shallower, but still uh, to put. And then looks like we're going to have to get a step stool in here. Um, we'll see what goes up there.
one little cabinet with drawers. This would hold like the uh, um, father and Deacon Bill and I's stoles would go in this. But with this only being the vesting sacristy, we really don't need any more than that. These, these drawers are actually bigger than what we have over in, the, uh, in our current sacristy. So, okay. I really am baffled by those two pieces. They're, they're going somewhere, I know, but So, um, no, there are no safe rooms. Uh, safe rooms would have to be able to fit a lot of people for them to make sense. And uh, no, we tried to work that into the design of a previous version, and uh, it was cost prohibitive. So, so there's our baptismal font. It's still... Um, Still here, that's, that's the one thing that, that's probably the biggest uh, question mark right now is, when will our bap um, baptistry be built? Um, I mean, we can walk into the bathroom. So, bathrooms are pretty much done. Probably some things to put I don't know, they need to pull some tape off and air conditioning things, but bathrooms are pretty pretty much done. So Okay, family restroom. Yeah. Yeah, not a lot to a lot to show you this week. Um, as far as somebody's asking about the flooring, uh, the flooring out here in the main entry area will be the same as the church. So obviously they're going to have to come back when all this stuff is is done to uh, or cleared out of here to polish and stain this floor. But then the, the corridors themselves, uh, just to knock down the sound, will they will have carpet on them. Uh, so obviously a, 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 the bathrooms won't have carpet, but uh, the floors in the hallway here will have carpet. At least that's what I think I remember that right. Um, so... Okay, well, let's see. When will we have the first mass in this church? Um, that's everybody's question. We, uh, the Archbishop has not given the go-ahead for public masses. Oh, I bet there's, I bet that's part of our light training right there. Um, Archbishop has not given a, uh, a schedule of when masses can resume, let alone masses that will, uh, for 800 people, because uh, I would expect we'll have a full house in here uh, for the dedication. So um, the dedication had been May 16th. That has been postponed. Uh, so we're probably talking late June, maybe into July. We'll just have to see 
we'll have to see what uh, where we're going to go from here. The uh, one of the reasons that this uh, this um, whatever that contraption there is called, uh, one of the reasons it's still there is. If we look up into the cupola, the ceiling up there looks unfinished. And that's because there's some acoustical panels that are going to go up there. Uh, so they're waiting on those. Those are supposed to be here in a couple of weeks. So they need this piece of equipment to get that high up and get those panels uh, installed. And then once they get those installed, then They'll take that and drive it out that opening, and then they'll close that opening up there to make it look like that. So, so we, can't, we can't hang all of our Stations of the Cross until this opening over here gets closed, because there's a station that's going to go right in the middle of that. Um, So updated playground or something for outdoor activities. That's uh, beyond the scope of this project. That will be um, determined in another context. Okay. Uh, Mary Jane or Ralph, who the large opening across from the server's closet, that's, that's actually a return air. That's going to have a grill that goes over it. Uh, that's, there's one over there. There's one over there. And then there are two more. Uh, you can actually see those uh, in the back uh, going toward the working sacristy. So there's a total of four of those, and that's what we're waiting for some there's some decorative grills that had to be made for that. So, the, uh, the uh, Ziegler's, when they restored our stations, actually um, used the color of our ceiling to put that blue that you see in the stations, the sky, the sky background. So they wanted to, they wanted to tie the, the blue of our ceiling into those stations, so. Uh, th th will the color of the pews be the same as the as the wood on the beams? That's the plan, at least to be in the same. Um, the pew company had the the color of this stain, so that's the uh, that's the plan. And also the uh, the furniture that we're getting, uh, we have the presider's chair that came from the cathedral, big marble uh, thing, but. Uh, the deacon's chairs, server and lector chairs are all wood, and that stain is also um, matches the um, matches the uh, the wood that you see uh, all through the building. So, Ziegler's also had a had a, a stain sample so that they could uh, base their stain on the same thing. Uh, any pictures of the pews? No, Sam, I'm, I, I don't. Um, we don't. Um, but they'll be, they're actually going to be here within a couple of weeks, so we'll be able to see those. Um, honestly, I can't remember what they look like myself. Uh, they're all wood, um, but, um. Seems to me like they're ran they they kind of uh, trying not to jerk the phone around too much. 
It seems to me like they, I, I could be wrong, but I, it seems to me like they had a round top like those niches do up there, uh, just so that the architect, there's an architectural feature that, that matches. So, but, I, and I could be making that up too, so I just, I can't remember. It's been so, so long since the, um, the pews were chosen. Uh, I do know that they're they're slightly angled to make it make them more comfortable. Uh, they got a little arch in them, so they're not just straight. But um, yeah. I think we saw this last week. These lights that they hung up here. Um, so they will not have cushions. The pews will not have cushions. That really hurts on the acoustic side of things. Uh, the Blessed Sacrament be right behind the altar. In fact, um, the, uh, the altar of repose is directly under the crucifix and the tabernacle will be in the middle of that altar of repose. So it will be uh, directly behind the altar. And, um, and the sanctuary lamp that we, um, that we inherited from uh, Immaculate Conception will also, uh, Ziegler's is, is coming up with a, um, uh, with a fixture to to hang that uh, sanctuary lamp from, so that will be up there at the altar of repose as well. So that will all be, like I say, under right underneath the crucifix there. And by the way, I think on Tuesday, Father Jacoby wants to do his address to the parish uh, next to the tabernacle and, uh, and one or two of the stations of the cross. And I said, dude, you know we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to lift that up from the floor of my office. <laughs> so um, let's pray that Father Jacoby and I's backs don't give out trying to uh, Get that uh, that tabernacle in a place where it can be, where it can be. Uh, he can stand next to it. That thing weighs, I bet, three hundred pounds. So, okay. Um, just uh, if you have any other, I'm just going to walk a little bit and. If you've got any questions, uh, let me know. I'm going to give you a chance to ask any questions. And, uh, hey, Sam, I'm going to take you up on that, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking it's going to take four of us to do it uh, without hurting ourselves. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's heavy. Uh, but if you have any questions, um, I'm, going to, I'm just going to, we're going to kind of wander around and walk in here, um, I'm hoping the, the this marble. I, I will say that I've I've been watching them put this marble up. They only get about one or two pieces up a day because I think they they have to get that. It has to they have to make sure that it uh, that it uh, I don't know sticks um, uh, sticks well before they go up with the next layer, because each one of those pieces of marble is pretty good, uh, pretty good weight. Um, maximum occupancy. Uh, Father's been saying 700, but I looked at the, at the, uh, the pew count the other day, and I, it seems to me like it added up to about 775, and then if we put in the overflow seating, um, I think it's it's right around 800 if you pack them in here. So, if 
Yeah, maybe Father can. So we'll, get, we'll get Father a little cushion that he can sit on the floor next to that, uh, next to that tabernacle. That's a, that's a better plan, Tracy. Another th thing of interest might be uh, this coming Tuesday, the our organ, uh, our organ guy. We're going to have to. We, we need to expand the capacity of that organ to, to, um, so that the sound is uh, can occupy this big of a space. Uh, he's flying in from Austin, Texas. He actually has his own private plane. So he's flying up here uh, Tuesday morning and I'll pick him up over at CE Page and he'll come over and spend the day with our architect uh, looking at how the, uh, the speakers will be put uh, into, the, into the church. And Elizabeth has, Elizabeth has, uh, she has a company on, uh, been talking to a company about a movement of the piano up to the uh, up to the mezzanine. So, so that's all. We have to coordinate all that because um, we are we'll be um, finishing up in one building and uh, moving to another. So, it may be that we come back, and I know that Father wants to have at least one weekend's worth of uh, liturgies in the old building before we move to the new. So, um, so from one week to the next, we need to be able to move the piano and tune the piano so that it's ready. Well, I think we've made a uh, we've made a uh, made a lap around the church. See how far you have to walk to see the cupola. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked about the photo directory. Uh, actually, they are shut down until summer. So we were, and I'll be honest, I was a little slow getting them stuff, and I finally got everything to them, and. Uh, I talked to somebody at the at the company, and they are shut down until uh, June. So we'll uh, we'll see how soon they get that thing printed and to us. So. All right. Well, you guys have a great Sunday, and we will uh, we'll plan on. Next Friday, unless I know something significant is going to happen and Sunday might be better. So just uh, stay tuned to our Facebook page and we'll, I'll keep you posted. So. God bless. You all have a, a great Sunday. The Lord is risen. He is indeed risen. Hallelujah.